who stole the more than $150 million painting from the U of A Museum of Art. That is a question that has bothered U of A staff in the Tucson community. We came here to Silver City, New Mexico, following leads, following clues that has some in this community pointing the finger at a couple that lives 30 minutes away from where the piece was discovered. This cliffhanger starts right here in Tucson. It sparked our interest so much, we drove more than 200 miles for answers. We found some, but the rest remain a mystery. I walked into the bedroom and I reached down to pick up a, a piece of the dresser. And that's when I moved the door. And I, so I was crouched down and I moved the door and I looked up and I saw it. Because I liked it. I, I mean, I didn't love it, but I liked it. That's David Van Auker, yeah, a straight so shooting antique dealer in Silver City. He said it was a hundred million dollar painting. He and his co-owners of Manzanita Ridge added a piece to a puzzle. A puzzle and mystery that still remains unsolved. When I found the article online, um, as soon as I pulled that picture up, my heart just like stopped because I I instantly knew, I just knew that this was the painting. What they did next with the more than $150 million painting, kind of tossed it there, would send most art aficionados to the ER. Um, I believe Buck just leaned it right up here, against the wall right here. It was the only door they could lock in the building. These owners found the missing Willem de Kooning woman ochre. This is what the de Kooning was hanging from. Along with this amazing discovery came some major stress. It had me terrified, you know, the whole time we had it. But uh, yeah, there's, there was something about this painting. Van Auker says from the start, their plan was to return it to the U of A. So, they I, asked I, a lawyer I, friend in I, town to hold on to it at his house. Yeah, Turns we, out even that became an issue. I addressed him and I, I said, if the law enforcement aren't allowed here, then we're taking the painting and we're leaving and uh, he didn't really want to give it up. The painting now locked up in a vault at the museum. Before that, it was locked up at the house of Rita and Jerry Alter, hanging behind the bedroom door, but why and how did it get there? They really didn't show many people the painting. I, it wasn't actually until the very end that people saw it. So usually the stories that we've heard were um, from people, the people who knew them. One of the stories that stands out, a conversation with the couple's caregiver. The caregiver asked Rita Alter about the painting behind the door. That painting that was on the wall had belonged to her husband and that it was at the school. The caregiver wasn't sure how they knew it was at the school. And Rita said um, the school wouldn't give us the painting back. So one day I dressed my husband up in my clothes and my son and my husband went to the school and took our painting back. The most shocking possible connection to the painting? They documented everything. Van Auker found the altar's travel journal from 1985. Yep, that's 1985. The day after Thanksgiving in 85 is when the painting was taken from the museum. There it is. There's Thanksgiving blank. Just the next day, right back to normal. Then we did find out from Jerry's sister um, that Rita and Jerry and their son Joseph were in Tucson for Thanksgiving at Rita's mother's house. Rita's mother lived in Tucson in 1985. Some say the suspects in the altars have similar features and items. There's the rust colored sports car and there is a picture of Rita wearing the red coat which um, in the description uh, of the thieves at the museum, the woman was wearing a red coat. I had suspected it anyway, but that was just sort of like it for me, you know, especially seeing the cars, that did it. The masterpiece famous for being missing is just as famous for being unsolved. Kevin Adger, KLD News 13, live local late breaking.